Hello, my name is Joel, and I'm going to show a quick presentation on how to mount a 34 frame motor onto this uh, 34 frame your motor here mount for an MXE actuator of Tolomatic. So first of all, I took everything apart. You can see this is the coupler. It's got a spider gear in the center, and this is the motor half, so we'll have to mount that to the motor. On the other side, I took apart this viewing window so we could see inside of there. It's just a plastic component with a little clip that holds it in. And we're going to get this thing mounted, so we'll put the coupler on or the uh, coupler half onto the motor. First of all, we'll need a, a couple Allen wrenches. And these are metric on this MXE actuator. So what we'll want to do is remove the spider, line up the end of the shaft of the motor, and tighten up these screws. Now it's important to keep these screws tightened. You can see that <coughs> there's a space on one side of the coupler that's larger than the other side. So I want to make those equal. So I'll loosen up the one and tighten the other until they're the equal distance. Once that's complete, we'll want to tighten this to the torque specs required for the, the coupler half. And you can obtain those values from either the Tolomatic technical support folks or uh, through the documentation that we have for mounting these motors on our website. So we'll tighten those down to the torque spec. We'll get this spider gear attached to the center of that. And then we'll <coughs> apply this motor to the actuator. And you can use the viewing window to actually line up the, uh, the coupler halves. So you want those teeth to match properly. You can see when, that, when it's pushed all the way together, there's a small gap between the coupler halves. And we'll want to have a small gap there um, once it's assembled. So that's, that's good like that. And we'll put these four screws in. And the four screws just can be tightened at this time to a, uh, just a loose, loose position there. We'll get them all four started. And then once they're all in place, we'll do a cross torque to make sure that the motor is appropriately attached and there's no skewing. And this will ensure that the motor is properly seated on the, the housing as well. So we'll want to tension these to a, to a good um, setting. It's not as important to tension or to torque these screws as much as it is for the this cross bolt screws on the uh, coupler itself, but uh, it is good to have these tightened to a you know, equal amount of torque. And um, once that's complete, all you have to do is put the cover back on. which I took off, so we'll put this cover back on. And this slides back in there. Pretty straightforward. And I'll use my other Allen wrench. This is a, a three size. And I'll tighten that on. And we're all set for operation.